Hello everyone, this is Celeste with Pearl Lemon and I'm here to do a software review on this content optimizer called Phrase. So it can do a lot of things. As you can see on my screen here, they have two major tools called Phrase Content and Phrase Answers. Phrase can work for content writers, SEO members, marketers, and so on and so forth. And you will see this, see that in this video. So right now I'm on their website, which is the pricing page. So here is the pricing page. They have basic team growth and enterprise for their pricing packages. And then of course, down below, they have the different features that each package offers. And so we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video and go into my dashboard. Alrighty, so I'm in my dashboard right now and here is the overview that you can see. You can see your recent work and I have my recent work right here. So I have used Phrase before for some of my pieces and I'm just going to go ahead and go into the content section. So they have your documents, question ideas, and then Google traffic. And so before I create a new document, I wanted to show you the rest of these. So here are the question ideas. So you can search up a certain keyword and it will show you the different questions that people are asking about that keyword. So these, this can be topic ideas, this helps with SEO optimization and so on and so forth. And then you have Google traffic where you can integrate Google search console with phrase. And then we have the answers section. So this is where they have phrase answers. So phrase answers has the crawl website, create an assistant and create data set for you in terms of the assistant section. And then we have the knowledge section of phrase answers. And so here is just where it shows you the crawls and the data set. And then moving on to analytics. Here is, oops, click the wrong thing. Oh, well, it's taking me, it's not allowing me to go to my analytics at this moment. Um, it was working a little bit earlier, but that's probably because I don't have anything within phrase answers. Once you have something within phrase answers, it allows you to the go, go to the analytics because it was working um, a while ago. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the content and I'm going to show you how it works for phrase content. We're just gonna create a new document. Create a new document. And then it'll ask you which uh, workflow you want to use. Do you want to create new content or do you want to optimize existing content? And then it is your target search query, which is your keyword that you can put into. So I'm going to create a new content and I'm going to put um vegan biscuits because i that's a topic and that's a keyword for one of my um, articles that i have to write so i'm just going to put create document and we're going to let that load for a second all right so as you can see while it's loading off to the right hand side they are basically um the artificial intelligence is searching up all the different websites based off of your search query, which is your keyword. So you can see this right here, every single website that they are trying to gather information for to create your content brief, which we will go over in just a second. Alrighty, so here on the right hand side is where they have gathered all the information. They have the word count, the amount of headers, links, and images to create an optimized content for you. So here they also have sources as well. They have potential H1s, H2s, etc. They have more for me just because 
um, my keyword is about recipes um, vegan biscuits they have some recipes on here and etc and you could just keep on scrolling so you're actually seeing the H tags for every single website within that keyword that they have found and that can help you build your potential H tags for you and then we're gonna move on to the topic score and let that load for a second Alrighty, so here is the topics topic score so it'll let you know when you have certain words based off of the keywords that have been in other people's content so my keyword is vegan biscuits people have mentioned about minutes because you know time oven biscuit and they want you to mention it this many times so obviously I haven't written anything so everything says zero right now but when I do write something it will have in progress completed or overused based on how many times they want you to use it and then you can go on to the questions and here are the common questions that people are asking and then you can move on to related content so here are just some related things that might not be on exactly specific for what you're looking for but it's still related in in the same realm of what you're looking for so we're gonna go back to my top results and I'm going to click automated content brief so you can import content to optimize you can also import template and you can share the document but I want to create a content brief and once you click that on the right hand side it shows you how they are going to make your content brief you can choose topics to show statistics if you're looking for statistics um, we'll do questions and headers and then this is going to go into the brief um, the editor so it can create your content briefing and so essentially this is going to create how you can structure different information you can add into your article it's not going to write it for you but it's going to give you more information so essentially this is saving you time on research and it already has done it for me i've been talking this whole time and i didn't even have to pause the recording for it to load that was very quick and so i'm gonna move myself over here Alrighty. So here is where they put the content brief based on what you asked for. And so essentially, again, this does not write the content for you. It is giving you information and letting you know how to optimize your content prior to writing it. Or you can optimize existing content. So this is a great way to save time. It cuts down your research time from 30 minutes an hour down to five minutes this video so far has been eight minutes long but not all of it was from the content um, optimizing I was explaining other sections as well so this is a great tool for content writers so that's pretty much it to phrase so let's go ahead and talk about some pros and cons with it so some pros that I mentioned that I really enjoy is that it does allow you to be more efficient and it cuts down your research time in terms of content writers and so this also helps content writers and as i mentioned seo members and marketers so in terms of seo and marketing yes this does help as i mentioned the earlier features that it offers um but it would also t depend on your preference if you would want to use phrase as your sole SEO and tool for information. I don't know if I personally would use this for solely SEO, but it does have that feature if you want to work with it. I would personally use this for writing because it definitely helps, but it is all up to you and your goals and your project so that pretty much concludes this video on phrase we hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching